Hi, I'm Katie Simmons, Managing Associate at Wombleborn Dickinson. And I'm Rebecca Keating, a barrister at Four Pump Court. And in celebration of Business Women's Day, Wombleborn Dickinson, Four Pump Court and the Society for Computers of Law have teamed up to introduce you to a group of inspiring women working in law and tech. And over the next couple of weeks, we'll be speaking with women from across the law and tech world who have carved out their careers covering the private practice, in-house, public sector and the judiciary. These exceptional women will share their stories, advice and explore challenges in these bite-sized videos. We do hope you enjoy watching these videos as much as Katie and I enjoy chatting with the speakers. And on that note, we hope you'll also join us on the 22nd of September, which is International Women's Day, when we will speak with Triple Olympian Fran Housel on the topic of big goal setting, challenge and ambition. Lynn McCafferty is a barrister and took silk in 2018. She specialises in a variety of different commercial disputes, but with a real focus on technical disputes, including those focused in IT and telecoms. So Lynn, to start off, what is your favourite element of your job? I think my favourite element of being a, a tech lawyer is probably the, um, the challenges of adapting um, legal principles which often were established in in quite old case law to a, a relatively young and fast moving industry um, where there are different kinds of contracts, different sorts of products and services from those that were being considered in, in these old cases. Um, and it's particularly fascinating, I think, to see how the judges um, adapt those principles to these kind of real life situations in the IT industry now. Um, another aspect of the job that I really enjoy is the, the mix of the legal issues on the one hand and the technical issues on the other hand. And I enjoy that challenge of getting on top of the technical detail, um, getting on top of it to an extent that you're able to cross-examine a, a, an expert in that field. Um, so I think it really does combine two quite different things, um, being, being a tech barrister in particular. Um, and um, I, I would say that I find cross-examining experts particularly stimulating because you're asking questions of people who are extremely knowledgeable and articulate um, and trying to find the fault lines in their expert evidence is, is a great challenge and a really, a really interesting process. And across your career, do you notice there are fewer women in tech? And if so, why do you think that is? Um, I think objectively and statistically, there are fewer women uh, in the, the tech industry and, and uh, in the legal tech industry as well. But it's not something I think that is immediately noticeable um, day to day. Many of my clients are, are, are women, both in-house counsel and solicitors. And although when you go to the kind of networking events, I guess if you were to stand back and look around the room, there probably are more men than women. It doesn't really feel that way. And I, I think that's probably because um, I think women in the tech industry are, are pretty good at networking, making contacts and supporting each other, I found it to be a really supportive environment and not just uh, not just female tech lawyers at the bar, but also uh, more um, more broadly uh, female lawyers, um, uh, those that work for, um, for tech companies. So I think it's it's an area where it's traditionally been thought of as it's quite male dominated, but I do think that's changing. Um, I think when you look at the younger cohort, there's many more women um, than, than certainly there used to be. Um, but I, I do think it's not, it's not something that I've ever thought of as a problem. And in, in many ways, the kind of networks that women uh, have to support each other in this industry uh, make you feel like there's actually more of us than there really are, if that makes any sense. And finally, Lynn, what advice would you give to women at the start of their careers in tech? OK, so I think there's three things and these are things that it's taken me quite a long time to work out. And I look back to when I started out in, uh, in, in tech law 
decades ago and I wish that somebody had told me all of this then. So I think the first thing is that you have to proactively hunt out um, uh, online learning or, or in-person learning about developments, not just in case law in the IT field, but also developments in the industry. Um, I think one of the really great sources uh, for this is actually the SCL Back to Basics courses. Um, I did the tech course a few years ago and it was fantastic. And I did think I wish they'd had this when I was starting out. There's so many online resources available and I, I would really encourage people starting out uh, in the, the profession to, to arm themselves with as much information as they can. And even if, even if you come from an IT background and you feel like you already know a lot of it, there's so much more to learn about specifically the way in which the tech law industry works. Um, I think the second piece of advice I would give is to get involved, get involved in things like the SCL, um, get onto committees, um, go to events, whether it's uh, seminars that uh, the SCL and other organisations run or whether it's networking events, because it's not just about you know, business development and all those sorts of things. It's also about meeting people, hearing what's going on in the industry. You, you just pick up so much um, about the way things are done, what's happening, um, who's going where, um, the, you pick up the jargon. All of these things give you a way to understand the industry that you're working in and, and what you can do to learn more about it. Um, and also it's, it's quite a small world, so it's actually very rewarding getting to know people and you do get to know people um, fairly quickly and it's nice to go to these events and there are faces that you recognise and they tend to be, uh, because it is a small world, quite friendly and, and supportive environments. Um, so I think that's a really great way to, to further your career and, and to get the most out of this area of law. Um, and then I think the third thing is just kind of understanding how important your expert witness is on a legal team. So getting quite more specific about how cases work day to day with them, this piece of advice. Um, obviously, the expert evidence is absolutely crucial to how you, how you build up your case and what you're able to prove on your client's behalf. But an important aspect of the expert's role as well is that they are educating you on, on the, the facts and the background to the case that you're working on. They're educating you on why the other side's case may have some flaws in it. And they help you to understand how that all fits together. And these are relationships that, that will last throughout your career. And you'll find that clients, whether it's solicitors or uh, or in-house counsel will look to you for recommendations for experts and an expert, a good expert can make or break your case and, and having those contacts and being able to say, oh, I could really recommend this person for that type of dispute is enormously helpful. And the more that you can build up those relationships and trust your expert um, and, and vice versa, then the better the legal team will work. Um, so yeah, I think those are my three, three main pieces of advice for, um, for people starting out in tech law and, and particularly tech barristers as well. Lynn, thanks for taking time to chat today. It was wonderful to discuss your career so far and your advice for people entering the profession. Thanks for your time.